Hey guys. This is a good coffee. Coffee's just cheaper than matcha, like, let's just be honest. Like, I'm not spending 500 billion trillion dollars on a matcha every morning. Look at the fur inside this. It's amazing. I had the photo shoot yesterday, and yeah, it went so great. I thought it was gonna be the worst experience ever because I was just dealing with a lot of opposition. Like today out of all days. Uh, I woke up with this on my chin. The day I have a photo shoot, this wants to come up. And yes, it's that, it's that serious. Like, why is this on my chin? I've been trying to be so good. Make sure everything goes well. Ugh, whatever. I'm just praying. Help me love myself when I get out of the shower. Uh, is this a safe space? Like, I'm, just, I'm gonna smell good. I'm gonna do my skincare. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even funny. But I was believing in God for a miracle and he came through. I know he will provide for me. Cause I just have faith. I would stray away from asking God for stuff because I didn't want to like be using God just for things like just asking him to bless me because like when I was first becoming a Christian I remember just people being like oh you only talk to God when you need something you only talk to God when you need something it would be like when I like I really needed something like when I was younger it was mainly just like praying to like not get in trouble I never really asked God for stuff like oh God please like I want a wee God I want like I never did <laughs> yo we we're just I was just raised to not ask for stuff like yeah it sounds kind of messed up but it was just what it was so what God has been showing me in like this walk recently is like I got to finally understand somewhere along the line that God is literally my father and my provider he loves me like a father i'm precious to him i don't have to like handle things myself because then i got to a point i want to say from like 16 up until present day where i was like okay if i want something i have to buy it for myself and then i kind of just like would always work because i like i needed things well i felt like i needed things so you know you just need things yeah so i didn't really give god an opportunity during those times because i i could supply for myself like i didn't need anyone to help me and i was just like okay whatever but then i came to a place recently where it's like okay like i have nothing right now entirely humble entirely vulnerable it's okay to ask people for help so i had to like put my pride aside that was that was pride i had to just repent right there this is like literally the past two weeks i'm at a crossroads like i don't know what to do things are coming up that need to be handled i was like so humbled you know just because like i didn't work for a whole month like that set me back god forbid that did not set me back it just put things on Pause. Yeah, set me back is crazy language, but it just brought me to a, a humble point and I had to just sit at the feet of God and ask him for what I needed, you know, because something that took me a very long time to understand is that God likes me. He likes me. He wants to hear my thoughts. Yes, he loves me. I know he loves me. That's the first thing I was taught in this world. For God so loved the world, he sent his only son. Like, I knew, but I didn't know for real. Like, okay, God loves me. Okay, Jesus down the cross my sins. Okay. If you have no revelation, no truth, your own truth to that fact, it's kind of like just words. So once I understood that God loves me, I'm like, okay, God loves me. Like, okay. I'm trying to learn how to like relinquish to God because like, you know, like when you don't know how to love properly, I would say I didn't know how to love properly. Um, and then like I learned obviously through my siblings, like familial love, they do anything and you still will forgive them and whatever. And then I also learned like love through friendships. Like, you no, know, you just learn a lot through friendships. I think that's like the main thing. And especially because I feel like I, I just love meeting new people. I love like connecting with new people and getting to know people. So like sometimes I put myself out there and like just get myself hurt. I kind of knew what love was, but like I had a warped vision because, you know, people come and go. People that you love will say terrible things to you. Like now you're confused. And I was confused about myself. I think I touched on this in my testimony video. Also, it's like hailing. So just ignore that. 
I had to come to the understanding that God, like, he likes to just sit with me and be with me and talk with me. And he cares about the things that goes through my mind. I got to a point in my faith where I was like, okay, I know I need to spend time with God. There are demonic forces working against me. The enemy is trying to knock me off my speed. I have to pray. I have to, you know, warfare in the spirit. Like, I have to. It, it's like, it's like if I know this is not supposed to do, why wouldn't I do it, you know? And it just felt like a chore at times. Like, it really felt like a chore, especially from, like, October, November. I was just like, oh my gosh, like, you know. And there was other factors that reason why I felt like that. But, like, it, that was very religious. Like, I was like, I have to do this. I was just like, God, like why do we have to do this like why do we have to do this this is what we have to do every single day like it felt like living was a chore like especially when there's all these trials coming your way a side note 2023 was an insane year like one of the most insane years i've ever lived i think <sighs> that was a good way to start the 20s though for sure i feel like i learned so much and the main thing i literally learned is that god likes me he likes me like and i don't even know why this was such a big revelation i think because the main thing i struggled with was like before i knew god i was like depressed and hated myself and like literally wanted to myself like i was saying this one day in november i just had like a bad week couldn't be bothered about anything like go please try somebody else because i didn't care about life like and then I was just sitting in my dorm and I was crying out to God. At that very moment, I've experienced that moment another time, maybe a year ago, two years ago, four years ago. Like, I've been there before. So there was a lot of frustration there. I was like, like I just gave up on myself. I was giving up. Because I was like, God, like, how can you even stand me? Da 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 da. Like, I was just stuck back in that cycle again. And I felt like the worst human being alive and that's because i fell into re religiosity i wasn't just relishing in the goodness of god the goodness of life and that's this western society can do that for you like i found myself looking for like just validation in other people like this one kid <laughs> and like my friends like how they thought about me and once your focus is off jesus just actually forget about it it's over it's actually over like once i start thinking too much about myself and what this person might view about me and how am i being perceived and how is this person gonna think on it it's over what i've learned what life's is to me that god has literally excuse me shown me so god god is a creative being he made these trees and he put the thought in somebody's mind to make a car and he made the rocks and the clouds plants and water the sound of water the sound of rain the smell of dew he created all these things animals our god is a creative god and he created us in his image out of his love he created us in the image so he created you and he created me you guys catch this because we're made in his image we're able to just love and we're able to create like having children creating silly little internet videos god just puts things in your heart and he created us to love and create we were created to be just like our father in heaven and that is a multitude of things that is to be holy to be pure to be righteous to have moral courage oh jesus to live well live well like be kind to yourself be kind to the people around you be kind like and this is like elementary school stuff this is elementary school stuff but it's like bro it's this this is how you live a good life once you realize that god likes you he loved you first i think likes is so important because it's like the little things too like when i'm overthinking about oh my gosh do i look good like what are people like just worried about myself it doesn't matter if i know that i am walking in the truth i'm supposed to be walking in because at the end of the day we all were created to create music businesses gardens like maybe you like to plant <laughs> you maybe you like to just like dance you like you know what i'm saying like god has put such specific things in us because we're just like him and we're supposed to just live it and worship him through it all and stand firm in the fact that if every day i'm living in the truth that and in the way that god first wanted me to live every good thing is gonna follow right after goodness is right behind you even when i don't like myself god likes me even if i don't like the way i like said something or i'm being hard on myself because i felt ugly about a butt pimple that came on my chin the day of a photo shoot 
You feel me? Like, it's okay. God likes me. <laughs> like, I hope you guys are catching it. Like, I know this sounds so, like, just like, whatever. It does, nothing else really matters besides the fact that I am loving God, loving the people that are around me in life, and people that hate me, and people that are rude to me, and people that I might not be, I don't align with. Just loving everybody and loving myself. This box you're watching me on. And we keep saying, like, social media is fake. Like, social media is, get off social media. Like, go touch grass. Bro, we have been socialized. So I'm not even going to do all that because we literally been socialized. But, like, just enjoy your life. Truly enjoy it. I don't want you, I don't want people to walk around this world feeling like a shell of themselves. That's the worst feeling ever. If there is something so deep within you that you know you're supposed to do, that is so true to you that you're supposed to do, why do I make YouTube videos? Literally, why do I make YouTube videos? I don't know why I make YouTube videos. I feel like I'm supposed to do it. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't even make sense. You feel me? And, and the greatest things in life don't make sense, but it's so personal to you. And guess what? God, because he put it in you. So it's a personal thing that only you and God are going to work through together. You feel me? And God will do everything he can to just pull you. Take the distractions out. He just wants you and you alone. He just wants you and you alone. He don't want no music. He don't want no podcast. He don't want nothing like in your ear. That's what, that's what he did for me. <laughs> no distractions. He just wants you, the core of you, because he enjoys you. And he enjoys spending time with you. He wants you to be connected with that God in you. Oh, I hope I'm speaking to somebody. <laughs> he wants to be connected with that God in you. So when you feel that 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 deep, like, oh, I feel like I should, oh, I feel like I should pray. Like, I feel like I should, you know, just, you have to just close this little box and just sit. We're literally human beings on an earth with air and somebody is literally keeping you alive every day. There's somebody greater in control. And if you're feeling such like, and it can be the smallest thing too, like, oh, I feel like I'm supposed to stop doing this. I feel like I'm supposed to stop smoking. Like, I don't know, somebody's just telling me. I feel like I should post this. Oh, I feel like I need to create this. Oh, I feel like I need to go to this school. I feel like I need to go work in this industry. Like, there's something that only you specifically can do. I can't go and run a freaking bank. But there are probably some god fearing people out here. God told them to run a bank because there's like a nonprofit that needs a loan. <laughs> you see where I'm going? Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. Like, and it can be in the most intricate and small ways. And that's why faith is the most important thing. Keep having faith. Have faith in that future version of yourself that God already sees. Like, keep having faith. Keep loving and loving and loving. And love on the days when it's hard to love yourself. And love on the days where you feel like you're actually the worst human being alive. You sinned and you hate yourself. Keep going. Like, there's no time to just dwell and sit and, and woe is me, woe is me. No, because that moment has passed. But like, I'm going to keep it above you guys. I told myself I'm going to be sober all January. Once I was introduced to weed, it was like a cycle in my life that just would come in and off and on and off and off. I'm chilling with my friends. She was chilling with her friends. We're all hanging out together. I turned down the blunt. Oh my gosh, you don't know how happy I was. I feel like the angels must have been rejoicing. Like, I was just so happy. Like, oh my gosh, I turned down the blunt. Oh, yay! The self-control was never there, for real. But I was like, just so focused on like, the fact that the woman that I'm supposed to be, she is not a pothead. <laughs> She's not. And like, yes, God loves me even when I was sinning, but there's something so refreshing about being able to just sit and love life without any dopamine stimulants in your brain telling you like oh life is beautiful like there's something so personal and intimate about the fact that you and god are so close and have unlocked so many secrets about this world together in your secret place that you can just sit and be still and know that life is beautiful and know that there is a purpose and yes i might suffer yes my house might burn down <laughs> we're in this like let's keep going this is a relationship the only reason why i know stuff about relationships is between is because me and god like i have cheated on god again and again and again and again and he's just taking me back that's what honestly helps me like forgive me people too like and forgive people that literally make me actually want to myself <laughs> i have to stop saying stuff like that i don't want to myself but like sometimes i'm just like okay great 
don't want to be here you know i'm landing now all i can pray is that i continue to do better the mercies are renewed every morning every day is a new day whatever happened yesterday actually doesn't matter because guess what the day is done every day it's about the choices you make and the actions you're supposed to take choose to help your future self just you know one small step just don't be so hard on yourself like when you have a photo shoot and you feel like you're the ugliest human being alive relax just just do it take the photos just express yourself just create don't there's no reason to be a perfectionist art is subjective one person might like your video more than the other person but in the day you acted in the image of your creator and you created something and you put it into the world and you shared love today and you spent time with the one who created you and you humbled yourself you did what you felt like you were supposed to do not what your subconscious mind is making you do because you were programmed bought by the system <laughs> you know there's a reason why the world acts the way it acts but you're not like the world you think outside the grain you know you think outside the grain just do what you feel you're supposed to do like deep within you imagine the holy spirit lives in me like you guys this is like i'm i'm recording this and i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself but like something is clicking in my brain every time i spend time with god like something just clicks i'm like yo this life like let's go let's do it like let's actually do it like life is good like i just want to love everybody and love and be a good person like i truly do just want to be an, a good person like how god is and the first key to all of this is reading your bible because the bible has gems gems and i need i need to get off this and read my bible you just read these stories about people that just kept persevering and going and going and that perseverance is like what's sticking to me right now i just, I just have to keep going keep going just do it take action just go bro like what is stopping you actually like, what is stopping you besides your demented thoughts and there's a bible verse about that oh like you don't have to stay where you're at it's a new year and it don't even matter if it's a new year bro my new year starts at a random day after i feel fed up about everything and how i'm acting okay prayer and reading the bible that's where all this is gonna come from like that true peace but yeah more of the story read your bible keep going like i actually have so much faith and hope in you watching this video like yo me and you were on the same corner of the internet like we didn't have to be on the same corner of the internet you didn't have to see this video but you're seeing it like things like don't just happen like that you know like life went a certain way for this to be happening and god you know is pulling the strings <sighs> i'm chatting like let me go inside but yeah that's like where my mind has been i feel like and coming to these truths only came with spending time in solitude and prayer Please disconnect. Care about the real things. Let me delete Twitter. Okay. Adios, guys. Adios.